Sudoku is with numbers. Am I confusing the games again? Jesus Christ. I should really just stick to Hearthstone, huh? Uh, I like Patchwork. He can play whatever and he has a lot of health. Patchwork is like a 20 armor hero that has a hero power to get 10 more armor. That's the way I look at him. Blizzard looks at him at, as a zero armor hero with 30 armor as a hero power. Mass Effect, thank you for the 11, uh, sorry, thank you for the 18 months. I barely know how to read numbers. How is this guy a streamer? Health is better than armor because you can add armor onto health. You cannot add health onto armor. Is Patrick a safe top four? Not really. I think Patrick kind of almost never gets 7-8. You can still get there, but very regularly. And then you can play for first. You can play for first and then third, fourth. It depends on the game. I think he's a solid pick overall. I really want to avoid 8 places. But it's still possible if you have like a terrible game. I don't like the notion of like a hero being a safe this place. Like you can always fuck it up. You can always have an unlucky game. Double mommy not bad. But we don't have follow up. So we should level. If this were a coin I would have uh, went mommy. JG got 8th with Patchwork. How did he accomplish that? I think you should get an achievement in game when that happens. If that happens. Just like 8th with Patchwork. Congratulations. You're special. And now I jinxed it. 8th place incoming! Greetings from the USA. Do you have any good sources for stream, like, intro music and transitions that you use? Keep up the great stuff. Uh, first of all, we free on free here, right? We don't buy trash. So, my intro music is a song that is um, not copyrighted. Baby No Money is awesome and he doesn't have copyright on most of his songs. Therefore, you can use them without uh, problems. Just Google non-copyrighted music if you want music as an asset. There are also some websites where you can uh, pay a monthly fee and then it, they give you like music you can use. Like they license it to you or something. I don't know how it's called. Um, my transitions and my starting screens and stuff are made by artists from Fiverr that I paid to get me what I had in mind. So basically I worked with third-party artists to make custom transitions for myself. Magic is the wild card in every battle. Prickly Piper is super good here. And I guess Tough Tusk? And I'll catch you next. We are Quillbore, baby. There you have it. I don't think you got 4k viewers because you have that transition screen. That's true, I didn't. But once I had 4k viewers, I felt like it was worth to spend uh, a few bucks to increase the quality of the stream visually. I'm sure people would watch if I wouldn't increase it. Actually, the first thing that I did when I got more viewers was I got a professional camera as my camera. I got a professional microphone and then like an audio setup. Do you need all of that? Not really, but I feel like it's respect. It's my respect to you guys. It's like kind of like a business person wearing a suit. I'm having good uh, tools that increase the quality even just by a little bit. Because you guys deserve it. Where's your suit? I'm not wearing a suit because that wouldn't be comfortable. It's not what I meant. I used it as an example. Now chat is going to go and go and be like, so you don't expect us if you don't wear a suit, right? You got me. At least he's good. I have a banana suit. But I keep it for special occasions. There you have it. Best of the best.
If you really respected chat, you would wear a headset and have a headset dent. <laughs> Dude, I think some streamers have that. My quest begins here. A headset dent. Jesus. I'll be the next of Farnstorm. I never liked wearing headsets. Um I don't know if my ears have like a problem, but every single time I wear something on both ears, um, I start getting a bit dizzy. And I went to the doctor and they said something, it's something with my sinuses and they recommended that uh, I don't wear a headset if I can, uh, if I cannot wear one. So for example, whenever I wear like a, an, an earplug, I wear it in only in one ear. I could wear a headset just for one ear and I'll be fine. I'm praying for you. I mean, I also think I know why it happened. Basically, I played a lot of Hearthstone tournaments and a lot of tournaments would give you like noise canceling um, headsets. And underneath the noise ha canceling headsets, you'd have to wear earplugs. And in those earplugs, they would blast some white noise. And I think all these tournaments with like white noise in my ears and with the noise canceling headsets probably like fucked up something in my ear. No regrets, though. Those tournaments were fun. You should sue Blizzard. A lot of the tournaments were not made, made by Blizzard. They were like third party. Also, every single tournament that puts you play on stage, they make you sign a waiver where you give away your rights to sue them if something happens to you. They're not stupid. Dwayne, thank you for the 17 months. Like, we were laughing like... I remember the craziest story with like a waiver. We arrived in China for a tournament. Should I continue? We arrived in China for a tournament. It was a great tournament, super nice organization and everything. But all the players were laughing like crazy because they made us sign a, sign a waiver if we wanted to play. That said something like, you might die because of like random causes like construction in the venue or something. And if that happens, your family is entitled to a thousand dollars. And we're like, yes, at least our families get something. Nobody died during that event. It was a great event. Just a funny waiver. Blame the lawyers. <laughs> there you have it. Best of the best. By the way, you want to sit on Tavern 3 as much as you can. So I'm going to try to get Grugag from Elise. Grugag from Elise is definitely the play. I didn't go Bandit because I don't have that much generation, right? I mean, do I need that much generation? I have Smudger. I need Grugag and that's it. Second Spear Height is good. I have health. Lava would have been interesting. I passed, I passed it really quickly. Because, like, no board space, but maybe it was interesting. I don't want to pick Carolog as a just in case. I don't want expensive spell. Man, we need to go gog really bad. I really miss the reroll spell. Same. The reroll spell was goated. Staying on free is way better because the spells are cheaper on average by a lot. So you want to stay on free and get the discover gog. The aspects smile on you. <laughs> Rob Team, thank you for the sub, Rob. Idea, we played the game together a few hours ago. I cow faced and I and you didn't answer. Why? I don't know if I noticed your cow face. Sometimes I'm like deeply involved in Twitch shots. 
intriguing and interesting conversation that I don't notice somebody emoting me in game. Do you think that's bad? One gag is enough. We don't need two gags. I'm gonna go Tusk. Perfect. And now we just spam spells. And we want to triple the smudger, not the tusks. Yes! When is standard HS? Huh? I, am here for you, friend. I only play Battlegrounds. The year is 2024. Battlegrounds is now the most popular game mode in Hearthstone. And I only play that. I'm assuming this guy clearly came from the past if he's asking about Constructed. So I had to give him like a heads up. Your power all Bad positioning. Yeah, not the best circumstance. The Jazzer guy is good. Solid. First time chatter, if you only have two Rugags on the board and play one Blood Gem, do they infinitely buff each other? Yes. Of course, if you get two of a four drop and get one Blood Gem, you're gonna get infinite, infinite minions. Why not? No, of course not. That would be stupid. Rugag says, play a Blood Gem on a different friendly minion, so he can play on any minion which is not Geomagus Rugag. If you could get this card and it's not called Geomagus Rogag, maybe it could work. There's a guy in chat that says you always level for 5 and 6 on Quailbar. I laugh about it so hard, but give us your opinion. Generally, I like staying on 4 most of the game, and then level from 4 to 5 and 6 later to deal more damage to people. But, and there's a big but here. No, no pun intended. Um, when you're playing for Smudger, and you already have Geomagus, stay on free the whole game, because Tavern Free gives you the best cost of spells that you can get anywhere. And that's what matters, right? You want a good uh, price. Now I want a triple smudger, get one more smudger, play the jazzers, get the stats in. And I don't need anything. Like, look, one drops. Wait, let me close my camera. So you can see the beautiful Firestone overlay displaying all the spells. So, one, one cost spells, super cheap. Two cost spells, a bit more expensive, but still mostly cheap. Three cost spells, pretty cheap. And now, bam, four cost spells. You see the increase in price. Most of them are free gold. So by going to 4, 5, and 6, or whatever, you increase the cost of spells to the extent that maybe it's not worth playing for the Smudger. So if you are playing for the Smudger, try to stay on free. If you don't get Rugak, maybe you can level, whatever, but try to stay on free. And yes, guys, did I mention you can get this amazing overlay for free with the link in my description and you also support the stream directly? That's crazy, right? Insane deal. I want triple on this module, give me. Meanwhile, Jessica is like, what's happening? Jessica is like, I need you, bro. I need you, bro. Okay, I'm gonna play this here. I want everybody to have Divine Shield. This fight is important for me. Why not triple the Tough Task? They're more powerful separate. I want to triple only Smudger. Until then, I'm board locked. Do I care? Not really. Missed stats. Lolul. Come on. Just triple Smudger and we're so strong. Ardeo just ignores Labor suggestions from chat. No, dude, but I... I, I have to cut Piper if I want to play the lob. And I think it's a little bit late for that. Do you think it's going to help me? If I triple Smudger, sure, I would All buy a lob. The color blue. Enough. 
Your build skipped leg day. But they have big muscles. So who cares? At what point do the attack gems don't matter anymore? I think attack is always important, to be honest with you. But there, there comes a point where I'm gonna cut it. See, this is perfect. Chad got what they wanted, I got what I wanted. And now we can play the lob as well. I don't need conductor. I know how to conduct myself. Let's lob. Not sure if that's the best way to end it, but hey. Damn stats, baby. Look at him. I don't want a triple piper, it's a waste. This game probably has like two more fights, I just want to get more stats. This is what I meant, Patrick is just a good hero. If you get a bit lucky, you can play for first, no problem. Hero powers are for nerds. The aspects smile on you. Yes. J Poles, thank you for the seven months. Come on, let's go. Only wins, baby. Okay. A fine start. <sighs> Bro. Maybe I should have taunted uh, a Divine Shield. Could have been better. I think I can outscale the Mech guy and the Demon guy. I'm a bit worried about the Pirate guy. The aspects smile on Trade. Bro! He almost succumbed. But in the end, he still fucking won. Dead guy fight? Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. That one suits the beginning of your journey. Hey, bullshit, don't buff that guy. Come on, dude. Need more HP on gems? I have a lot of HP. I'm doing my best, okay? For the last fight, I should also level to 4, or this doesn't matter? It doesn't matter, they're under free health anyways. I mean, it might matter if they get armor card, but who cares? Let's go get them. Do you think Paint Smudger, Quillbore, Build, or Bristleback Gold Gog is better? Mm. Gag is the best way to play Quillboard, for sure. But I'm not sure if the best way to play with Gag is Smudger. 
I'm doing fine this game, but I also like the games where I'm generating gems with other board and I can play on Tavern 4 and then maybe even push to 6. But this is a lot of stats. I'm not fucking around. The only downside of my board is that by staying on 3, it's very difficult, almost close to impossible to get Golden Gog. At least on Patchwork. <sighs> Pirate guy is beatable. That was a sight to behold, friend. I wish you luck. Be sure you have sufficient forces on your side. We are nothing without our allies. Be sure you have sufficient forces on your side. I think taunting the non-divine shields makes sense. Smudger doesn't guarantee the gem going on the Gog. Yes, that is true. That is very true. So maybe it's more stats to play on Tavern 4. But I'm very happy with how many stats I have. I wonder if I didn't play for Smudger and I just played normal Quillboard if I would have done better or worse. It's a good question. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm top two fighting for first. This is not bad. The aspects smile on you. This guy survived a 90 and now a 74. Is he like the luckiest man alive? Let's level for good luck. I probably should have went for a minion as my seventh. But he cut Bramble Witch, so like it doesn't matter, right? This guy is working on his ninth life right now. He is. Victory seems assured. Now I'm unfavored, so it would be poetic for me to win. Is Grimscale ever the best pick? What about Collector? What about Bramble? Bramble doesn't sound bad. Yes! But I need to know what to do with it.
I think you get cleave for like a gem transfer later. Okay. I am one with the stars. Victory seems Hopefully this is strong enough. Prinzel, thank you for the three months. I appreciate it. Ah, this guy is trying to scam me. Mid? Yes? Vibon! I'm not lucky. I deserve it. I lost a 90 and an 80. I'm not lucky. I deserve it. I'll have that written on my tombstone. Wait. That's not good. <laughs> 